Freedom Scientific, a Vespero brand. Hi, I'm Betsy. I have been teaching for many years. I teach mathematics and computer science at uh, Housatonic Community College. I'm a retired professor. Hi, I'm Campbell Rutherford. I am a high school student who is interested in pursuing applied mathematics as a college major. We are going to talk about the Desmos calculator. And I'm going to start out by just explaining a little bit about what Desmos is and what it does. Before we start using the software, it is important to set up JAWS in a certain way. This is recommended by the creators of the software, and you can view all of this in their accessibility documentation found on the website desmos.com. Turn screen echo off. That is character echo off is really what I mean. So insert two does that because the feedback is already built into the software. It is also recommended that you set your forms mode to semi. If you wish to view the shortcuts to Desmos on the fly, you can do control slash. Otherwise, all of the keyboard shortcuts are found in the accessibility documentation, complete with examples. The documentation is thorough, so be sure and check that out. Thank you. So Desmos is basically an online graphing calculator. You can do simple calculations and you can graph equations in, in mathematics. And it is very accessible with JAWS with the right settings. So I'm going to start out by going to desmos.com and opening graphing calculator and just showing you a basic calculation. Desmos.com selected. Desmos vertical bar beautiful free math dash de Desmos. Okay, so I did a control home and I'm going to open my links list with insert F7 and go to graphing calculator. Links list dialog, links list view, Desmos logo, G, graphing calculator, and enter. Graphing calculator, graphing calculator, Desmos graphing calculator, expression list complementary region, expression one colon edit, type in text. All right, so we've landed in expression one. And I'm just going to do a basic calculation, but before I do that, I'm going to make sure that my um, character and word echo with JAWS is set to none. Otherwise, we will get um, a double echo. Words, both care none. All right. So let's just do something easy. Let's do two, five plus three. 25 plus 33 equals 58. Expression two colon edit type in text. Okay. So we can do something else easy. Two, five, minus one, eight. Expression three colon edit type in text. Expression two colon 25 minus 18 equals seven edit type in text. All right. So that's the basic calculation feature with Desmos. And now I'm going to hand it back over to Professor Betsy, who will show you how to do a graph of an equation. Thank you, Campbell. Betsy Doan back. Now we're going to talk about a graph and how to create an expression in the graphing calculator. So the first thing we're going to do is we're in Desmos and we're going to graph y equals x squared plus 3x minus 4. Desmos graphing calculator expression. List. I'm going to do control O, open graph, hit graph. enter to open Desmos a graph. Now I have a blank list. graph and my forms mode has come on. So here we go. Y equal. Quote Y quote. Quote Y quote equals triac. Quote X quote. Superscript 2. Baseline plus 3. Quote X quote. Quote Y quote equals quote X quote super minus 4. Now. Quote Y quote equals quote X. I'll, I'll hush that up a minute. Let me just arrow through it and you'll understand how it reads. The quote y quote equals quote x quote beginning of superscript two two after superscript two baseline plus three quote x quote minus four. So it's very clear. It's very clear where your superscripts are and where your baseline is. Okay. 
So, there's going to be a graph already. There is a graph up there, and now we're going to audio trace it. We do an Alt T and then an H. Graph paper showing one graph. Graph paper audio trace on. Use arrow keys to navigate. To hear the graph. Press H to disable audio trace. Press Alt plus T. Expression one intercepted X colon zero. Y colon minus four. Okay. Listen to all the clues it gives you. Here we go. Let's do it again. Now you heard lots of different sounds. You got a hush sound. That hush is where the Y values are negative. You got a high sound, and that sound is where the X values change from negative to positive. Now we can arrow around this curve. Here I go. X colon 0 0.2, Y colon minus 3.36. X colon 0 0.4, Y colon minus 2.64. X colon 0 0.6. Y colon minus 1.84. And if you forget a value, all you have to do is hit the letter X. X colon 0 0.6. Hit the letter Y. Y colon minus 1.84. Okay. Now, we're going to add an expression. I'm going to hit escape to get out of trace. Audio trace off. Expression list complementary I'm going to hit enter to go to the next expression. Expression 2 colon edit type in text. Y equal 2x. Quote y quote equals 2. Quote x quote quote y quote equals 2. Quote x quote as graph to audio trace. Okay. Plus T. And it tells you again what to do if that's what you need. So here we go. Alt T H. Audio trace on. Use arrow keys to. Wow. You heard some pops there, huh? Here we go. Okay. Now the pops are the points where the two graphs intersect. So what are we going to do to figure that out? We're in trace mode. There's a couple of things you can do. First of all, you can do a summary of what's going on with Alt S. And you can do this Alt S whether trace is on or off. Color colon blue, two intersections, one zero crossing, one intercept. Okay, so it told you all about that, and those points then you can look for. You can do a P. Points of interest, four. There are four points of interest, and now you can tab. Intersection with expression 1 at x colon 1.562, y colon 3.123. No more points of interest intersection with expression 1 at x colon 1.562, y colon 3.123. Zero, intercept at x colon 0, y colon 0. Intersection with expression 1 at x colon minus 2.562, y colon minus 5.123. So it's all very clear. Now, from here, if you want, you can, I'm going to do an alt up arrow. Expression 1 intercept at x colon 0. And y now I am on the first curve. I'm going to do an escape. Audio trace off. Expression list complementary region. Expression one colon. And now we could even make a table. This is easy in Desmos. We're at the point where we're at the expression list in Desmos. We're going to shift tab to edit list. Expression bar toolbar. Hide exp edit expression list button to activate. Press enter. So we activate that button. The button to activate. Now we're going to tab three times to convert to table. Expression list cop show options. Convert the table button to activate. Press enter. Edit list mode off. Expre okay. Now look what we have. We have a table in front of us, and the best thing for you to do will be to tab between the columns. It works better. So let's see what we get. Column header one colon quote x quote column one row one row one colon one colon negative two edit. Okay, x is negative two. I'm going to tab. Row one colon two colon negative six computed cell. Y is negative six. Tab again. Row two colon one colon negative one edit type in text. Row two colon two colon negative six computed cell. Row three colon one colon zero edit type in text. Okay, now 
we're still using that x squared plus 4x minus 3. So let's make sure we've got the right answer. x is 0, and we get row 3 colon 2 colon negative 4 computed cell. I'm sorry, it was x squared plus 3x minus 4. So that's OK. If x is 0, then y is negative 4. Now let's say that you wanted to find the value of the function for some other value of x. Let's just for fun shift back to the 0. Row 3 colon 1 colon 0 edit type in text. OK, just type in another value. Let's type in three. Zero selected three. Okay, so when x is three, we get row three colon two colon fourteen computed cell. Which is correct. Nine x squared is nine plus three times three is another nine. It is eighteen minus four is fourteen. Pretty neat. So you have a table. Now you can get to this first column and arrow down to another row. You don't have to tab, but I don't recommend using the arrow. Uh, and I think tab works the best. That's been my experience. So that's what I would recommend. Now, how to get out of this? We'll press escape. Desmos vertical bar graph and calculate. The quickest way to get out, you can either tab to the undo button, which is a long way around, but you know what? You can do a control Z. Undo. And Desmos graphing calculator expression list complementary. And there you are. I tabbed after I did control Z, I tabbed once and I was back to my expression list. And now what you have on the screen is both the graph and the table. And that's how you do tables. Hello, it's Campbell again. And I'm going to show you a couple of things. We're going to graph another equation in Desmos that has some interesting things about it. And then we're going to take a look at a couple of the graph settings that are available in Desmos. So I will start by saying that I'm actually typing on my Focus 40 right now. Um, so if you have it um, set to where you can input computer braille, you can type your equations that way. So because my JAWS likes to change on me, I'm going to make sure that I have my echo set to neither characters nor words or none. Words, both characters, none. There we go. All right. So now I'm going to type y equals 1 over x minus 2 plus 3. So the 1 over x minus 2 is a fraction, and then the plus 3 is just tagged on at the end. So let's do that. Quote y quote, quote y equals, quote y quote equals you need some. And let's do one. One over, over x quote x quote minus, minus two. two. Quote y quote equals start fraction. One over quote x quote minus two. End fraction, you need something on both sides of the apostrophe. Okay, it was a little bit behind. It was going to tell me that I needed something on both sides of the equal sign, even though I already had it. So you probably heard it say y equals one or y equals start fraction one over x minus two end fraction. Well, if we want our plus three that we're going to add on to be outside of the fraction, we actually need to right arrow to get out of our fraction. After start fraction one over quote x quote minus two end fraction. So it, you heard it say end fraction. So now I can add my plus three. Plus three. Quote y quote equals start fraction 1 over quote x quote minus 2 and fraction plus 3 as graph to audio trace press alt plus t. Okay, before I audio trace I'm going to do an alt s to get a brief summary of the graph just to tell us how many points of interest we have. Color colon green 1 0 crossing 1 intercept. All right, so now that we've done that let's do an alt t to go into trace mode and then we're going to do h to hear the graph. Graph paper showing one graph. Graph paper audio trace on. Use arrow keys to navigate to hear the graph. Press H to disable audio trace. Press Alt plus T. Expression 1 intercepted X colon 0. Y colon 2.5. Okay, so JAWS was a little bit gabby there, but we got some information about the graph, so I'm going to hit H so we can hear it. So this is an interesting graph. You probably heard the gap in the middle 
where you just didn't hear any sound. And that is where the graph is undefined. Remember, you cannot divide by zero. So if the denominator or bottom of our fraction equals zero, then that means that there is not going to be a y value for that. So we're going to tab around a little bit and look at our points of interest, but we'll come back to this and I'll just arrow around and show you in a minute the undefined points. So let's shift tab actually to see if there are any points of interest before where we're at right now. No more points of interest intercept at x colon zero, y colon 2.5. Okay. Zero at x colon 1.667. Y colon zero. All right. No more points of interest zero at X colon 1.667. Y colon zero. And you see we get no more points of interest. So let's arrow around a little bit. I'm going to go left first. X colon 1.4. Y colon 1.333. X colon 1.2. Y colon 1.75. And you hear it coming up. You hear the, you can tell that the pitch is rising um with the tone that the graph is giving you and if you had headphones on you could actually hear the graph pan across your headphones so when you trace it it sounds like it's coming from it goes from left to right and so if you're wearing headphones you'll hear it go from left to right it's pretty cool but let's keep arrowing around for a minute x colon one y colon two x colon zero point eight y colon two point one six seven X colon 0 0.6, Y colon 2.286. Okay, so I want to get somewhere where it's undefined, so I'm actually going to shift tab to my previous point of interest and then right arrow. Intercept at X colon 0, Y colon 2.5. No more points of interest intercept. Okay, so let's right arrow until we start, until we hear no sound. X colon, X colon, X colon, X colon, X colon, X colon, X colon 2, Y colon undefined. All right, so you may have heard a little bit of a static or hush sound, but you heard it say, let's hear our X value again by pressing X. X colon 2. Okay, so X is 2. Y colon undefined. Y is undefined. So that means that the denominator of our fraction equals zero here. And so there is no Y value. Let's see if we have any more undefined points. X colon 2.2. Y colon eight. Okay, so this is a little bit interesting. Um, I right arrowed and we didn't hear a tone, but we did hear that we have a Y value here. We let's hear our X value again. X colon 2.2. .2. So X is 2.2. .2. Y colon eight. Y is eight. And so this means that we have a Y value here, but our graph window is not big enough right now to actually see it. So we're going to go into our graph settings and do something about that. So I'm going to hit escape to get out of trace mode. Audio trace off, expression list complementary region, expression one colon quote white. Okay, so we're at expression one. So I'm going to tab to graph settings. Hide expression button to act, graph settings controls group, graph settings button menu, press space to activate the menu, then navigate with arrow keys. Okay, so I'm going to press space. Graph settings complementary region, display size group, display size colon large toggle. Okay, there are a ton of settings in here, and we are we don't have time to look at them all today. So I'm just going to kind of tab quickly through here until we get to our window where we can adjust our reverse X contrast check. So let's tap. Braille mode checkbox not grid checkbox check Cartesian grid but polar grid but arrows checkbox axis numbers check, minor grid like x dash axis checkbox check add x dash axis x axis minimum colon colon minus ten edit type in text. Okay, so our x axis minimum is minus ten. That is okay. X axis maximum colon colon ten edit type in text. Okay, x max is ten. That's also good. X axis step size colon colon edit type y dash axis checkbox check. Add Y dash axis label edit, add a label. Y axis minimum colon colon minus 6.207 edit, type in text. Okay, minus 6.207, that's a bit random. Usually your standard window is um, minus 10 to 10 on both X and Y. So let's set it to minus 10. 
minus one zero y axis maximum colon colon six point two zero seven edit type of text we'll set this to ten six zero okay hold on let me shift tab and tab and see what happened here y axis minimum colon colon minus ten edit type of text y axis maximum colon colon ten edit type of text okay so that's fine so now that we have that set we're just going to tab back around to our graph settings button and hit spacebar and collapse it y axis steps angle settings degrees uh, graph settings button menu press space to activate them collapsed all right so now it's collapsed so i'm going to shift tab back to our edit box where expression one is expression list complementary region hide it expression one colon quote y quote equals start fraction one over quote x quote minus two and fraction plus three as graph to audio trace press alt plus t edit all right so let's audio trace again and with alt t graph paper showing one graph graph paper audio trace on okay so i'm going to press h to hear it and see if we notice any difference so with audio trace it's a little bit difficult to hear any difference. So let's right arrow and see if we can find our point where the graph is actually undefined, which is x equals 2, and then right arrow one more time and see if our if we can hear our y value. Let's see. X X X X X X X zero X colon one point eight X colon two Y colon undefined. Okay, so there's that x colon 2.2 y colon 8 and now we can hear that y value we can hear x colon 2.2 y colon 8 and we hear that higher pitch to tell us that the y value is rising so now you learned how to graph another equation in desmos how to get around fractions and how to adjust your window when you're when you don't have enough space to show all of the points that you need. We do have some additional resources available that will be posted. I did want to say also that there is a facility with this program for low vision users. You can within graph settings make your display larger and you can also do an alt plus to increase the size of your display. The graph can be printed in Braille using Tiger uh, VP Max embosser or enabling technologies Romeo 60 and Juliet 120 embossers. We both would like to thank you for listening and we hope that this has been helpful. Freedom Scientific, a Vespero brand. To stay up to date on upcoming webinars and training events, complete the sign-up form at freedomscientific.com forward slash webinars. Thanks again for connecting with us.